That's crazy. Uh, surprise. <laughs> so this week, Peter turned 53. And so Cynthia wanted to throw him a surprise birthday party. And she invited all the girls. Yeah. And surprisingly to me, what? Everybody showed up. Right. Because I just up? didn't think that Nene would have shown up, especially with she and Peter exchanging words at the masquerade ball. Well, you know, but her and Cynthia are still friends. Right. So she used right. more to support Cynthia. But what really surprised me is that Kenya showed up with a guest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you know, Kenya and Marlo met at the Vineyard. Right. They met at the Vineyard, and then they both were in the salon together, and um, they just kind of hit it off. Hey, beautiful. Hi, sexy mama. <laughs> you know, both of them have very outspoken personalities. Mm -hmm. They're both, you know... Say, do whatever they want. I had the worst case of camel toe earlier. I could see them meshing well. Mm -hmm. um, I could actually see why Marlo would mesh with Nene and, you know. But what's crazy is the shade that Nene started throwing at Marlo at Peter's birthday party. Get your ass over here. Well, I'm gonna oh. sit over here And with then you gonna sit by Candy? Yeah. 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 you is throwing shade, I, I was trying to retract back, like, wait a minute, let me make sure I, Marlo ain't say nothing about Nene first. No, she didn't say anything about Nene. What I would say is that, from experience with Nene, um, Nene is a very, she's very um, territorial about her friendships. Okay. And she's a very, yeah. per she's a person that's very like, if you with me, you with me. And you with me, 100%. Marlo and Kenya are acting like BFF, and I don't have time for it. Let me smell it. So I decided to get in my car and leave. I just refuse to believe that Nene is throwing shade and upset with Marlo because she's friends with, or, or is being cordial to Kenya. Like that, that, it has to be more to the story. I mean, it has that. to be more to the story, but I know that I know, like I said, from experience on my own. Right, 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 right. That, that's, okay. the, that, that's, the, that's the start of it. Yeah. You know, so something else may have happened that we don't know anything about, but I know that's the start of it. Well, I know what did happen and why they probably <laughs> aren't friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> why is that, child? At that Bailey Bowl that you refereed. I would like to introduce Mr. Derek J. And that's a nasty old food, honey. We're going to be our referees today. We want a clean game. No cheating. No cheating. No switching team members. No seducing team member. <laughs> and you yeah. got called the queen again. And the refs need to stop being queens and be referees. But I don't think she meant no harm. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> she didn't mean no harm about it. She just said, child, y'all need to stop <laughs> being queens <laughs> right. and be referees. Yes. And they, the Bailey Bowl was a debacle. Now, it was a, it was a lot going on at that Bailey Bowl. It was just a, they cut out a lot of stuff. It was a whole really? lot going on. Yes, child. It was just a mess. Um, but yes, at the Bailey Bowl, Marlo shows up. To be, she's on Kenya's team. Kenya, Kenya team. invited her. You know, Nene didn't invite her, so she was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go. Let me go get a piece." What was wrong with? I don't. Do you think? I, I did, my my personal opinion is that I feel I feel that it. it I think that was kind of it was a little bit messy. And reason I say and the reason I say that is because yeah, you already had enough team members on your team. So inviting invite another per, invite another person, especially when you know all this drama and commotion is going on amongst it. If you was really trying to keep everything cool, no, but I wasn't invited. but Kenya might not have known that it was because of her that Nene wasn't feeling Marlo anymore. So she right. might have she might have just invited Marlo out of pure innocence, you know, just like oh girl, come on. And then Marlo didn't know about it. She's like, really? Okay, what? Well, let me go find out what the tea is. Why Nene ain't invite me? You know, that's why we my sister. And I do know that Marlo does live and breathe or did really, really live and breathe for Nene. And right. she really looked at her as a big sister. Mm -hmm. That I know firsthand because, you know, me and Marlo are close. I love my link. Uh, I love and it just got really, really heated. And I think Marlo is one that does not hold back. We see. She's going to speak her mind, mm -hmm. and she always does. And Nene usually does as well, except this time she didn't. Um, and, yeah, it just got out of hand. And, bitch, you stupid, and you really ignorant, and you dumb as because you so Bye. insecure. Bye. Tell the whole Atlanta why yeah. you not talking to me, because I'm Kenya's yeah. friend. <laughs> it's kind of sad because it's like seeing all these friendships break apart. Mm -hmm. So we try, hopefully they can get it together. Well, let me just say this. 
friendships don't break apart. Friendships, friends have differences, mm -hmm. and they have dis disagreements. And they go through their emotions. And they go through the, but friends do not break apart. Friends also don't feel any type of way when another friend is being celebrated. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, it, it, it's a lot of questions that can be raised in that whole equation of Kenya, Nene, Marlo, mm -hmm. Cynthia, Peter, you know, Candy, Mama Joyce, Todd. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a full on, um, you know, Iyanla Van Zant moment that needs to go on with that all is true, of them. With all the girls. With all of them. Fix my life. Yeah. Fix the show. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> so, ladies, if you're watching this, let's bring it together. Yeah. Peace. United we stand, divided we fall. There we go. The longer you stand together, the longer that show runs. Okay? <laughs> the longer y'all get them checks. Goodbye. Hello? Hi, Miss Lawrence. I love your lipstick. Is that a matte red? <laughs> Sometimes. I love it. And uh, Mr. Derek, what's the highest heel that you've ever worn? Seven inch, eight inch? Um, in response to the question about my lipstick, I actually mix a couple of different reds together. And I'll give you that secret recipe, but you have to tweet me direct and we can exchange <laughs> information, girl, and I'll give it all to you. But just know this, if only you knew how much I love you. Isn't that her song? Yes, bitch, but why you gotta start singing? You know I can't sing. You should have waited till well, I, I got back. No, I ain't my, my about to sing it. But hi, Miss Patty. First of all, you know I love you to death. And my highest here has probably been a seven inch here. I can't go eight, girl. I know that you try that sometimes and I can't I can't go there with that. But thank you for watching and um we always watching you. And we love you. And we love you. And we can sing it again, come on. I'm not playing with you. I'm not playing with you. <laughs> <laughs>